What's up, YouTube? It's Tarek. I promise I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, so, I've been having an issue with my headlights, right? Um, I would turn the switch on. I would hit the switch. And the lights would come on, but they won't always stay on. And sometimes it'll go straight to high beams and like they'll flicker on and off. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. And I would have to keep messing with this, uh, with the high low, like switch in between, right? Okay, so at first I thought maybe it was this, which is broke, but uh, it's not this, uh, the turn signal switch. What it is, is the dimmer switch, right? So the dimmer switch is under the uh under the steering column and you can see i put a piece of paper up in there to try to hold this on and you can see where i soldered this where i cut it and uh put it back together when i was trying to diagnose it so to get to it you got to take this uh this you gotta take this little piece off right here i'm making this video because when i was looking it up uh, specifically for the Caprice, I couldn't find any. I did find one video with the G body, but uh, I wanted to show, put one up for the people with the Caprice. So let, let me go back to what the issue is. Okay, so you see I turned the headlights on, all right? As you can see, nothing. No, neither, none of the lights on. And then sometimes if I wiggle this, mess with it long enough, you'll get it to come on, all right? And you see now only one light is coming on and i got bulbs and three of these uh headlight housings except this one right here on the on the driver's side so i'm gonna replace this dimmer switch i'm gonna show y'all how to do it and i'm gonna see if that uh help the lights come back on first thing you're gonna need is a 15 millimeter wrench socket and you're gonna get up under here you see those four bolts those are 13. But you're gonna get to that bolt right there, that's a 15, and this one right here, all right? And when you take these off, uh, the steering column is gonna drop. So what I would do, if I were you, is break these loose and get them kinda low, and then pull those four bolts off. Uh, or you could just leave the four bolts on, honestly. Uh, no, you can't, no, you can't, because uh, the demo switch is gonna be uh, behind this, this right here. So take these two bolts off on the side first. And like I told y'all before in other videos, well, I'm not a, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a like super technically skilled person. I just use common sense and I, I learn as I go. 13 millimeter. Break these loose. Fast forward this for y'all because I know I know how it is when uh you're trying to learn how to do something and somebody taking all damn day in the video. I put those 15 millimeter bolts off. Uh I actually need to go ahead and unplug this. Where the damn plug it? Okay. I need to actually go ahead and unplug this because it's a bitch to unplug this man. It is a bitch. I'm gonna have to do that off camera, but it's a clip uh right here where my finger is and it's a clip on the opposite side on the top uh in that same spot it's two clips that you got to take off you got to squeeze them and uh i'll use i use a needle nose to pry in there in that little gap right there as i squeeze because it's hard to do it with just your fingers but i'm gonna unplug this and then i'm gonna drop these 15 uh millimeter nuts and I'm gonna pull this bracket off and the steering column is gonna fall. What that bracket looks like. And uh normally uh this this little rod would be uh inside the dimmer switch. All you have to do is I'm guessing you would just have to pull it. Mine is broken, you see. Because I tore up this damn housing when I couldn't figure out how to uh why my lights was fucked up. So I tore all this up thinking that it was this, you know, why my uh, lights wouldn't come on. And it turns out it was just the dimmer switch. And I had to go to the junkyard to pull this small little piece right here because I broke 
uh, the one that was in my steering column. But let me get back to this video. Okay, so uh, this is an eight millimeter, and that's an eight millimeter, and that's literally it. Uh, you pull those out, and this is gonna come right off. I had a zip tie from where I tried to keep this on because I thought maybe that would prolong it, but uh, get this off. Take the eight millimeter. I just start breaking everything, man. I was mad. I was beating on the steering wheel like a damn. It was bad. I was throwing temper tantrums like a little kid. All right, let's see. Now this is the this is the new dimmer switch right here. Ignore that zip tie. And I mean that's the old dimmer switch. This is the new dimmer switch right here. And you see it come with this little clip. I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, with, let me see if I can do it with one hand. But you just squeeze, squeeze this down and pull that out. And then it should, it's gonna pop open. I guess not. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's satisfying. So I'm gonna put this new uh, switch in. I also bought a new harness because mine, uh, it kind of got melted. And this is before I did this ghetto uh, soldering that I did. But I'm going I'm to try that one just to see if it works still. Oh, uh, where the fuck did I put? Okay. So now it's just as simple as putting this new one back on. Uh, I'm going to put the bolts in off camera. And also, I want y'all to be aware that you can adjust this. Uh, you see how it slides on once you put the screws in? And that adjustment is for this uh this rod right here, cause once you have the rod uh connected in here, if your assembly was together, the reason why I'm not worried about the adjustment is because uh you know I can't put none of this on until I get that housing cover. Uh, so I'm gonna just tighten it up in any kind of funky position. Now I can just go ahead and plug this thing back up. Which way did this go? Okay, yeah. Just plug this thing back up. And before I even put the steering wheel back up, I'm gonna uh, turn the lights on. Let's see, the headlights went straight to bright. Let's see. And of course, it's still fucked up. Only one light. Let's see if it switched from high to low. I forgot to uh, demonstrate to y'all. When I click this before, uh, it wouldn't go from high to low. It just stayed on high. Let's see if I click it. Okay, so it does work now. You can see. Now I think. Now I think my issue is with uh, the harness. But I got the four connectors. This top one. I don't need it. I don't know what this, what's that for? Um, maybe another Caprice has an extra fog light or something that you can adjust. I don't know. But I don't need this one. I just need these three right here. So there's a green one, a yellow one, and a brown one. Like I say, we don't have to make this complicated. Just line them up and replace them, you know, accordingly. So all I'm gonna do is solder these wires on uh, these three right here, and then I'm just gonna connect it back to the demo switch. And it's that simple. Let's see if this worked though. And with that, we have successfully fixed uh, the headlight. Now, of course, only one headlight is on right now because uh, my high beams. I only have one high beam on the right side and one high beam on the left, but the left high beam is uh, non-existent. I don't even have a light bulb in that spot. But the low beam, if I can find this damn switch. Okay, there we go. There we go, low beam. Go. 
So I uh, I hope this helped y'all uh, with y'all headlights. If you got a similar issue, of course this don't look great. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that apart and do it right with some heat wrap whenever I uh, get some. But for now, that's, that'll work. Uh, I guess I'll fix it whenever I fix uh, this. But yeah, man, good luck with y'all with y'all car. Peace. Here's the part number for the dimmer switch. And here's the part number for the connector. Grew up on the countryside of time. Uh, in my cookie, my nigga. Do it for the south, y'all know. Born and raised with them rubber plants, hang hung slate. Grew up where you niggas won't go.